You know, the thing about living a crazy life where you travel and stuff is sometimes your body just shuts down. Like yesterday, last night, completely just, just done, just out, just I had to sleep. So, so you know, I just had to sleep. So, while I normally wake up between four and five, somewhere in there, yesterday, there's no way I was getting up between before 6.15 today. I was just out. With that said, today, deep tissue massage. Something I found just to be pivotal in my body's recovery, and recovery is key. And then, of course, kid stuff and getting office work done. But today, today's going to be a good day. Why? Because I get to catch up. Behind every hustle, you can't just go, 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 go. Be on the road every single day and not get office work done. At the end of the day, my life entails a lot of different things. For example, I have a new isolate coming out. It's grass-fed. It has all this stuff. I have to write the label for that. You know, I have R&D going. I have a few new products coming out. I have to do stuff on that. And I'll let you inside of some of that stuff um, within this vlog is, is research and development and, and all that good stuff and different patent ingredients and procuring exclusives for certain ingredient combinations. There's more to my life than just what you see. And then, of course, I got probably near 100 uh, coaching clients on my coaching side, which I also handle on a daily basis. But today's going to be awesome. I'm, of course, going to train... That's not the scope of what we're doing here. But of course, we'll see what Katie's up to as well. But here we go. Today's going to be a good recovery day. A little bit of training involved. Good morning. Yay. So Cammie and Thomas are off to school, and I got Preston here. We're getting ready to run out the door, get him to daycare, so Mommy and Daddy can go work out. And then Daddy has a massage. Hello. And then the afternoon is pick kids up from school, take them to music lessons and soccer. I think today Daddy's going to get Preston, and they're going to hang out so he doesn't have to go with us to soccer and music lessons and be in the car or at music for hours. And that way he can hang out with Daddy and play with Ruckus. And uh, we got to catch up on work today. So that's that's the agenda. Mm. Look at this handsome man. What does your shirt say? Katie's man. Katie's man? No, ladies man. Ladies man. But you're Katie's man too, right? Ladies man. Ladies man. Ladies. Now, for a while, Katie, was her, her back was fucked. Because having kids, it throws off your hip, tears your vagina, all that good stuff. So... Actually, I think that our relationship was a little bit damaged by the fact that we weren't actually training together. You know what I'm saying? What did you say about the damage? <laughs> the damaged vagina was my fault. I take full accountability for that one. Eight pounds, 12 ounces. I'm still a little bit bigger. But, so yeah, it's good to be training together, right? It is. It's fun. It is. It is. But so this is our routine. Like, we, I get a lot of work done in the morning. Breakfast, get the kids out the door. And we come to the gym. Now, today, you know, I have my... So deep tissue LA. yeah what I fitness which we prefer training at ironclad to be honest with you but I have a massage afterwards right here and this is only 10 minutes from our house whereas ironclad is like 24 minutes yeah so it's an investment time investment drive there so training if you can like I had a guy on my live yesterday he was like his his girlfriend was like against him training like and I'm like well and he's like what do I do and I'm like well that's a problem because that shows she's trying to exert control. That's not a good thing. You're stopping training right now. Yeah. <laughs> but my, my opinion is invite her to do it with you. Right. You know, um, invite her to be a part of your activities. Maybe she just feels left out. Are you going and training like at 6 p.m. with your boys? Getting home at 8.30 p.m. She's sitting there eating a stovetop whatever meal or whatever Stoffer's meal, you know, and she's like, Stoffers. whatever. She's just freaking you know, alone and that's your time away from her. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe it's not the fact that you're training. It's the fact that you're not including her in that training. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, like I always, you know, like I always say, like instead of finding find common ground and maybe show like making gains too. Tell you what, man, yesterday, last week, the Arnold Classic killed me at three days on my feet. The training events and stuff, getting heavy weights. This is one of those weeks it's like, you know, um I'm having a good workout, I'm getting some decent weight, but the urge to do extra and go above and beyond is completely not there. How are you feeling? Tired. Yeah. Like, um, sinus infection too. So. And I didn't even like, like I haven't had a good night's sleep. Like I slept, underslept this whole weekend. So this whole week, driving back from Ohio. So days like this, people are like, just take the day off. No, no. Do your normal training split. I only train four days a week, today and tomorrow. Saturday, Sunday, I get to reset. Monday, it's on yeah. point. It's on. But I'm still going to lift some heavy ass weight. But 
thing is like, well, if you don't feel well, don't take days off, don't feel like training. Dude, if I went to the gym only when I felt like it, I would never go because our responsibility with family and with, with work is so great. So sometimes, yeah. sometimes. It's kind of like what we talked about yesterday about like as a mom, finding the balance and making time for yourself. Yeah. You, know, you just gotta do it. Yeah, well, we're gonna finish this bitch up. That was four. Yeah, we're Let's done. Go do I notice a lot of people watching this vlog, our vlog, the daily shit. Unlike most people, you're older, a lot of females. If you all haven't looked at Tabata, it's the first recommended video on there. In four minutes, you get 60 minutes worth of cardiovascular um, work. It's a cool routine. It's four, only four minutes. It's intense. First link related videos. But what we're doing today is we're recovering from our trip, from life, and uh, Tabata. Just look that shit. You know, I've been getting deep tissue massage since before it was cool. Now the thing is, I try to go once a week. It actually ends up being once every other week, somewhere in there, probably maybe three times a month. I go for an hour. If I go for too long, go for an hour and a half. The key is just increasing the delivery of nutrients and also your fascia around your muscles is extremely malleable, meaning it could be, you know, you get a knot in your back and someone rubs it out. Think about it that way. That's your fascia. It's very malleable. So recovery, you know, you recover from situations in life, be it over mental overload from overworking, um, be it relationship stress, like maybe you haven't had a date night with your wife and you've just been all, all about the kids and your relationship starts to suffer. All areas of life need recovery. And so by going to massage, by making sure that we go to counseling, the key is recovery. Look at training as a metaphor for life. You grow when you're out of the gym. You grow when you're recovering. Sure, you do the damage in the gym, but you grow when you're recovering. In relationships and in business, sometimes it's about the mental relaxation. And the thing is, you don't, memories are formed when you sleep. So you can read 800 pages of knowledge, but unless you sleep, that memory isn't retained. So the goal of everything is to recover, to come back a better you. And for me, like going to counseling for my marriage, like, you know, having open and honest discussions with my business partners, um, to maybe even going on a family vacation with my business partner and his family, to deep tissue massage. It's all about recovering so the next day, or the next year, or the next whenever, you could be a better you. So it's Thursday afternoon and I am headed to get Cammie and Thomas from school because their activities after school start at 4.30 and when they ride the bus home, they don't get home until a few minutes after four o'clock. So Thursdays, um, today Mark's home, so it's extremely helpful. He can help with getting Preston and save me some driving. But um, I just want to talk about how we do things for our kids. And um, Mark and I do as much as we can for our kids. They play club soccer and they do music lessons. And those two things don't sound like a lot, but it's multiple days a week of commitment for sports and for music. So um, we are just basically trying to make them better people with these different opportunities we're providing them. We're blessed that we can, we can afford club soccer, we can afford music lessons for the kids. Um, we're doing it to enrich their lives and make them well-rounded people. Mark was never a huge supporter of music, um, but he, he has definitely realized the benefit of that for the kids and they enjoy it. Um, so, you know, while it's, it's difficult sometimes to s cram all this stuff in our schedule and be in the car for four hours on a Thursday afternoon, we do these things to make our kids better and that, that's what we wish for in life, that we do better for our kids than what we had or have. Um, I mean, I had a great childhood. My parents provided me with all kinds of extracurricular stuff, but you know, we, we try to do everything we can for our kids within our means and that takes work and time and it's just what we do and we enjoy it and we're very thankful that we can do those things for our kids. So. I'm gonna pick them up, run to music lessons, then Cami has an hour of music lessons, straight to soccer. She loves it, then she'll come home and she loves homework and I might grab some Subway for the kids in between there, but um, you know, it's what we do. We, we manage to find balance in the chaos and we love it. So Cami is at soccer and Mommy and Thomas are getting Jimmy John's. Do you like your sandwich? Yeah, I'm not too impressed. I decided to get a sandwich, which I never get sandwiches. It, it, it's just not that great. 
But Thomas likes his, so that's all that matters. Subway's way better. Subway is better. All right, so it's uh, 7.05. Cammy <coughs> just finished soccer practice after having music lessons straight from school. And um, Thomas and I went to Jimmy John's and had a sandwich, and I'm really regretting having eaten that because I am crashing hard from all the bread. I have not had bread in a long time. I've been really careful about my carb intake, just having less and time during certain times of the day. And oh my God, I feel like I'm gonna fall asleep right now. So we're driving home, I'm not gonna fall asleep. Uh, Cammie had a good practice. She said she heard some coaches talking about her being awesome, which is pretty cool. And her uh, team went undefeated in the indoor season, so they are playing boys for the next three games that are their age and the year older, which is pretty awesome. So anyway, he's going to go home, get everyone ready for bed and try to get to bed at a good time, get a good night's rest tonight. We're still recovering from the Arnold. It's so much different doing the Arnold at 36 years old as opposed to when we went in our 20s, even though we were only at the booth like half the day, but having late night training sessions and early morning meetings definitely feel it and uh, that's why recovery is important we took yesterday off the gym and this weekend will be uh, a chance to catch up on sleep and rest and get over this sinus infection that I've been fighting for the last week and a half so yeah um, stay tuned to see what bedtime is like so I'm looking at my email this morning I get a mass email from one of the other sites that sell supplements that you're just a number to, right? They were bragging that one supplement line was free shipping. Bro, if you order over $99 in product in the continental US any day of the week, free shipping anywhere in the US at Continental USA. Free shipping on orders over $99 at tigerfitness.com. Why even look at the other guys? And also we ship from Vegas and Ohio. Most places in the US are a one to two day ship. And that's not a game.